Hey, we have uh, Cutter, the kill shelter horse here. Like I said, he's a four year old. He's never had his feet done. Um, just out of a kill shelter you know, a couple months ago. So this is the first time he's having his feet done and have Daryl here and uh, and it's time. I think he's gonna be a lot more comfortable and, and, and better off here. So we need to keep progressing him. We have uh, Daryl Hicks here. He's a shooter out of Stephenville, Texas. He's one of the best in the business. We're lucky to have him and comes over here and gets underneath all these all these outlaws that we get in. <laughs> um, so when we, we like to keep these guys, you know, we get a lot of these young horses we'll get in. They, they haven't, their feet have never been done. And as soon as we get them gentle enough, it's, it's important to us to get them done. So these, it makes them feel more comfortable. And, and a lot of these trails that we have here, you know, are a little rocky. So uh, we want to keep them safe and just kind of protect our investments here and, and really gentles them up as well. So um, the fact that we can, you know, get underneath this horse and trim them is, is telling us that we've done a pretty good job. Our goal is to trim every six weeks. This is his first time. You know, eventually, um, uh, depending on how he does, we'll put shoes on the front before putting shoes on all four. Um, but, you know, we'll also, we'll, we'll leave shoes off them as long as we can. So if they're good footed and they get along well in the ranch, there's really no reason to. Uh, so for today, his first trim, and we'll, we'll trim them maybe six weeks from now, um, think about putting shoes on front. We keep most of them shod, um, but you know what? If they don't need it and they're pretty good footed, we're gonna we're gonna let them stay barefoot. Uh, we're just gonna see how he does, and and a lot of these younger horses, we like to keep them barefoot as long as we can before putting shoes on.